Hi, my name is Tony. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your Mac operating system with the Clean Browsing Service via the manual method. The first option is going to be via your system preferences. Here, you can navigate, click on your network, click on whatever interface you're on. So here I'm on the Wi-Fi, click on Advanced, click DNS, and here you can see that I've set it to the to the Google and DNS services. If you simply click, uh, select the minus button, it'll delete it and it'll point to the router's DNS. Or I can set it to say quad nines. And that's it. Now, if this isn't an option or you're deploying across multiple devices or you wanna do something a little bit more complicated, you can do everything via the terminal. So let's go ahead and close the system preferences. In system preferences, I'm going to use these couple of specific uh, utilities that are available to me in an application called Terminal. Now, if you're not familiar with Terminal, it's very, very simple to use, so do not get intimidated. Um, you can use your search function up here, and you can just type in Terminal. And when it does, it'll bring this application. Just click on it, and it'll open it. It'll look something like this. Um, on the left-hand side, what you see is my clean browsing dashboard, and you can see that I've created a new profile called Manual Mac, just to kind of demonstrate the process. We are going to use a specific utility called Network Setup. Here, we are going to list all network services. And here you can see these are the different interfaces that are available to me. Now, an interface is how you're connecting to the outside world. So I know that I'm on Wi-Fi which is here, because I'm connected here. Now, if you're on Ethernet, you might be using the Thunderbolt Ethernet slot one or whatever pops up if you're connected. So uh, with the instructions I provide, you're simply going to update the interface name. So let's go ahead and update um, the DNS server. So let's check what the DNS servers are first. So it's let's network setup. Um, let's get DNS servers for Wi-Fi. So what am I looking at? So you can see that I'm going to quad nines, 999, which is what we set. So now let's update that. So let's go ahead and go on network setup. Uh, and let's set the DNS servers for the Wi-Fi. Um, and we're going to set that to our IP. So it's going to be 185.228.168.26. I'm simply pulling what I have here. Now, another easy way to get it is in your, your network. Uh, we'll navigate to the Mac, and you'll see here that it's 185.228.168.26. So let's go ahead and apply that. Now I can simply click the up arrow, and it'll take me to the Get DNS Server Options, and you'll see that the 185.228.168.26 has been applied. Make sure that you set your public IP in the Your Network section inside your dashboard. Now that is set, so now we've bound the public IP to this shared Anycast IP, um, and that's it. And now, if you go back to your system preferences, and you navigate to your network, go to Advanced, go to DNS, you'll actually see that the DNS that we set has been updated. If you have any questions on how to do this, I encourage you to go to our forum type in Mac and here you'll see manual change DNS on Mac terminal and you'll see that everything that I just described has been clearly outlined. Uh, one additional option that we provide is a way to um, make the file immutable in other words so that changes can't be made if in case you're worried about students or your kids making changes after you've applied them. So I encourage you to look at this um, forum this document and it'll kind of walk you through the steps we just went through. Okay thank you.